Hello, in today's video we're going to talk about um, returning players. Uh, what are the things that you should be doing when you're first coming back into this game? Whether it be, you know, one year, two year, five years, ten years, whatever it may be. Um, so first thing is foremost is welcome back. And, you know, this game is a 20 year old game and has changed much throughout the years. So um, take what you can from this video and, you know, Hopefully it will help you out. So first thing and foremost is um, one of the most important things in this game is maps. You know, with 20 years worth of expansions and whatnot, um, making sure that you have maps to, you know, do whatever you plan to do in this game is very important. So what I would suggest is uh, there's two guys that make maps well for this game. It's uh, Bray Wolves and Goods. If you go go to Google, I'm sure you guys could just Google Bray Wolves maps or Goods maps and pull them up. For me personally, I like uh, Goods maps. So, you know, I have it already downloaded off the machine, and you simply say Goods maps, and it's all labeled and everything like that. It'd be okay. You know, you could set the height filters, but not and. Um, I just can't stress enough. One of the most important things is maps. Uh, being lost in this game when someone's, you know, trying to help you or, you know, you're trying to reach a common objective with somebody, having the same maps makes a world of difference. So I would say that's probably the most important thing when you come into the game is setting that up. Uh, the next thing is setting your UI up. In this game, the default UI is atrocious. Um, there's many mods where you can get custom UIs and things like that. Um, but I'm just going to do a quick little thing that I would suggest as a startup. And then as you play the game more, you know, you'll customize and tweak it. But at the bare minimum, this is what I suggest people to do. So to start off with, let's adjust things a little bit. Um, I would suggest starting off with three chat windows. So let's just make three of them total. We'll arrange them a little bit here. So why three? Well, one is you're going to want to is throw all your spam stuff in there. So let's just make the combat one because most of the time we don't need to see combat things spam. So let's go to filters. Chat, 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 chats are important. Emote system message things are important. Melee is not so important. Then spells, not so important. Damage heal, not so important. It's good. Spam, spam. Uh, randoms, I personally don't really care about. But if you like it, then you move it to a different window. Um, messages, I don't care about. Skills, don't care about. Others, fine. Experience message, I don't care about. Faction messages, I don't care about. Pet responses, I don't care about. Uh, destroy items, I don't care about. Item speech, I don't care about. Mercenary speech, I don't care about. PvP, I don't care about. So those things are spam. We really don't care about it. We don't look at it anymore. Uh, window to the right. What I like to do is place emotes, system messages, event messages, other, and who. On the left side, I like to do um, mostly melee stuff, and I'll explain why in a second. So melee, I want... Uh, other player deaths taught messages my deaths um, and melee warnings so, why melee warnings uh, and the other thing? So, other player deaths is important. So, in your group, you know, you know, if someone died, what killed them? 
taunt messages are is important to know if you're successful taunting if you're a tank class or to see if the tanks are taunting correctly in your group my death is obviously to know what killed you and melee warning this one is very important um I would definitely put it up there to make sure that this gets filtered to a window that you can see clearly. So, for example, you know, this NPC here, we're in plain of knowledge, we can't fight, but that doesn't matter for this test. So, I'm going to turn attack on. You're going to see your target's too far away, your target's too far away, get closer, get closer. So, this is important when you're playing the group aspect so that you know you're in range of whatever mob you're fighting. So, if you're in range, it's going to stop spamming. So one other thing that I'm going to add to this uh, with the chats and everything is a timestamp. This was added a few years ago. So if you right click the headers, go to timestamp, and you say full, and you do this for everything. All right, so we'll take a step back, and then uh, you'll see there's a timestamp. And same thing with group. You see there's a timestamp now, so if you happen to be AFK, you know, you're gone for a while or someone's saying something, you'll actually have a timestamp to know when someone said something or when something happened like that. One other thing I like to do with the custom uh, with the timestamps is go again, right click it, timestamp, custom color, and I like to make them red. And I'll explain why in a moment. So type some color, some color, red. So reason why is, if, let's say in chat, because by default it matches color. At least then here, it kind of stands out a little bit, the color. Right. It's just a personal preference, you know, if you don't like it, pick any other color yourselves. But in essence, these are the chat things that I feel is most important. The window on the right, emotes, system messages, event messages, others, and who, is basically um, whether you're doing group content, rating, or whatnot, whenever something happens that requires you to react or do something, it gets filtered to a different window, so you actually see it. It won't get lost in spam or whatnot. And then make sure that your chat window is clear of just communications, whatever it may be. Uh, tell, say, group, this, this, this. You know, one thing that some people use that, you know, I don't always use myself is tell windows. You can have it on or off. So let me set up an example of what tell windows do real quickly. When you uh, use a tell window, a separate window pops up. So your prerogative, if you like that. If you don't use tell windows, you click it off. You close this, and then if a tell comes to you again, it comes back to the regular chat window. So your preference on how you wish to handle your tells, but making sure that you see your tells is, again, a very important thing when you're dealing with a multiplayer online game when your objectives are done in a group you know, or party or whatnot. All right, so that's how to set up at least minimal chats. I would certainly suggest that. And then as far as the hotbars are concerned, you know, depending on your class, whatnot, you're going to want to throw a bunch of stuff up. So make sure that you uh, set up your hotbars according to your class. And I'll make videos and such about that. All right, so I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I don't want the videos to be too long, and then um, I'll pick it up later on with uh, the next step, which is class uh, deciding what class you want to play and setting up realistic expectations on, you know, what your goals are going to be uh, coming back to the game. All right, thank you all. Hope you enjoyed the video.